This is Alex Scott reporting for Spartan Edge News, and I am here today with... Scott Thornton. And you are the... President of the American Electric Vehicle Company. All right. And today you are showing off your new vehicle, which is called the Cruise? The Current. K-U-R-R-E-N-T. American Electric Current. Our first of uh, five vehicles we have planned over the next four years. All right. And I heard it will be made in Michigan. Yep, it's going to be made in Ferndale, Michigan, and uh, the uh, first 500 or so vehicles will be, and then uh, as we expand, we'll be looking for other Michigan-based assembly operations that we can that we can use. I'd like to keep it in Michigan, as much Michigan company as we can. Cool. And it's an alternative uh, energy sort or energy vehicle, well, compared to... Gasoline yeah, Alex, it's uh, fully uh, certified under the federal standards of FMPSS 500 as a uh, neighborhood electric vehicle, which means that it's uh, uh, underneath a certain weight and it's allowed uh, uh, a special, uh, uh, you know, uh, manufacturing qualities like no airbags and things like that. Um, it does have seat belts, headlights, uh, taillights, uh, doors, windows, safety glass, the whole works, and it's uh, fully certified to go on roads that are 35 miles an hour or under. And the top speed of uh, the current is 35 miles an hour. All right. And uh, what does it run on? It uh, po is powered by four lead gel batteries that uh, are right under the seating area, and that powers uh, a central processing unit that powers a, a four and a half kilowatt motor that uh, splits its power to the two rear wheels. Okay, and uh, what's the mileage on this vehicle? I know you can't say miles per gallon, but... It's funny you say that, Alex, because we're, somebody was driving it just now and said, well, where's the gas pedal? Thought, hey, well, there is no gas pedal. You have to come up with another name for it, maybe a go pedal or something. Accelerator. Uh, yeah. But the uh, mileage is about a penny a mile and, uh, compared to a regular SUV, which is about uh, 14, 15, 16 cents a mile, depending on where you are. Uh, so it's quite a bit uh, more efficient from that standpoint. And the other end of that question is how much does it cost you in electricity? It's about $110 uh, a year to your home budget to recharge. Wow. So uh, it's a very uh, uh, stingy little vehicle. Yeah. yeah, good for small commutes around town. That's exactly what it's for. It really wouldn't be something you would have as a, your primary vehicle, unless of course you lived in Manhattan or Chicago or some, you know, uh, or a, uh, a community where that's really all you needed to do. Uh, but it goes 50 miles on a charge, so you can go out 25 and back 25, and uh, it's uh, easy to park, easy to maneuver, easy to get in and around, so it's perfect for, you know, urban areas, college campuses like here, um, gated communities, resort communities, people that have cottages, vacations, things like that, and if you keep thinking about it, the, the, um, uh, the possibilities are just keep coming and coming and coming with this thing. And, we think the time is right in our society and uh, with the, the boomers moving along and the social acceptance of cars like this. And, uh, you know, you don't uh, have to, it used to be really cool to be going 70 miles an hour with the wind in your hair. Now we think it's really cool to be going 35 miles an hour and have the wind in your hair. And, and you'd, you'd look cool, you'd look just as cool. Yeah. yeah. Where was the car designed? It was designed in Italy, Torino, Italy, uh, by a, a, a design firm there that uh, specializes in prototypes and things like that. And uh, we, uh, our company, has uh, acquired the Western Hemisphere rights to um, uh, manufacture, procure, uh, and distri distribute and sell this vehicle. So we're looking to do that uh, uh, moving into the global area as well, too. Cool. Yeah. How many jobs do you think it'll create? Well, right off the bat, we've got uh, our first two jobs, aside from the owners and the people that are uh, doing the original engineering, there's about you, eight course. right now, Yeah, <laughs> which I'm happy to have a job. You know? <laughs> That's a good thing. And, but we are, have uh, our first two uh, uh, assembly employees are going to start on Monday. And uh, we're going to pick up another four in a week. And by uh, January, we might have... Uh, about 15, and then by April we think anywhere from uh, 40 to 70 jobs in Michigan uh, assembling these. And our goal is about 15,000 units uh, a year, and uh, we think we can do that about anywhere from 40, 50, 70 people. Cool. And uh, how much does it cost? There's a 
Yeah, the uh, that's joke. a that's a really interesting story. There, it's the retail price. Manufacturer suggested retail price is nine thousand eight hundred dollars, and right off the bat, you can have a federal alternative fuel vehicle tax credit of three thousand dollars. So that's six thousand eight hundred dollars, and in some states, not yet Michigan, uh, but some states, uh, for instance, Arizona has mm -hmm. a three thousand dollar alternative fuel vehicle tax credit on top of the federal credit, so you could get six thousand off. So, I mean, the, as, uh, as the government of the federal government and the state governments are really doing a lot to help companies like ours uh, play in the marketplace and uh, be able to provide you know, vehicles like this for, for consumers. So, um, you can, it's $9,800, but, you know, with the, fact, the tax credits, depending on where you are, it's quite a bit less. Excellent. Well, it's good to hear. Um, well, yeah. All right. And we've got manufacturing people working with us. Uh, we've got uh, uh, international people. Uh, yeah, we've well, got uh, business people. So we've got a nice group of small private investors that own the company. And, uh, we're yeah. going to distribute uh, nationwide. Cool. All right. Um, I think that's about it. And if the uh, car's there, I'd love the ride. Yeah, come on, us. Alex. We'll All take right. you for a ride. Cool. That's great. All right. Sure. All right. Let's take a walk around of it. Show us all the features. I see it has a trunk. Yeah. Good thing. Here, I'll Let's start uh, right here in the trunk. This is, uh, as I told you, it's an all-electric all vehicle, uh, four lead gel batteries, and uh, it's uh, uh, a neighborhood electric vehicle, an NEV, and a, a also known as a low-speed vehicle. Um, the trunk, as you can see, is uh, big enough to hold uh, maybe six grocery bags. Backpacks, strollers, things like that. Things you would need in your regular commute. Most Americans drive 29 miles a day. And if this, this car is a 50 mile range, so it's perfect for people who, uh, around their communities, uh, instead of taking their big, uh, their big car, their normal car, what they would do is uh, just use this. Uh, my wife uses it to drive the kids to school, to uh, go to the cleaners, uh, go to her work. Uh, the kids sometimes use it in the evening to go over to their friend's house and things like that. It's got headlights, taillights, fully uh, fully uh, safe uh, under the guideline. Um, now this, uh, the inside, mm -hmm. you can see it's a lot of lightweight material and, and I think you can see the Italian design reflected here and the way it's a very stylish interior. It's got a functional dashboard, speedometer, a uh, steering wheel has got the turn signals, headlights and a horn on it. You operate the key just like a normal car. It's got a drive and reverse. Uh, windshield wiper designed by BMW, a squirter, heater, um, a, an accelerator, and a brake. On uh, the windows, are, if, uh, if I could switch places sure. with you. Sure. Right. I'll show you how the windows operate. And this is another it's a little pivot point. They're roll-down windows, but if you take, take a look at how they operate, they're very stylish in their design. Just a real... It's actually curved in. Yeah, one pivot point, and it just rolls down. And this allows you enough where the window can still be up a little bit, but you can put your arm out. So it's very comfortable when you're driving it with the windows open. It's, uh, it's a really, I guess I would say it's a three-season car. It wouldn't be something you would use in the snow. Um, but uh, it's great for days like today. Um, and you'll see when you get in, it warms up real quickly. Yeah. And this... Looks this like is, is uh, where it's recharging yeah, from. This is the hood. <laughs> so under the hood, you have your uh, regular 110 power cord that powers into uh, any three-prong plug uh, and uh, by extension cord. And that fits in here. There's this window squirter, brake fluid, and that's all you need. Wow. Handy, right? There's yeah. 350, or 350 parts in the vehicle, so it's not very complex. Um, there's not a whole lot that can go wrong with it. Uh, the uh, engine supplies most of the braking power, mm -hmm. uh, the braking uh, resistance force, so the brake pads very, don't even wear out. Um, what, the way we're going to distribute it is we have uh, one of our, we have the United States broken up into eight regions, and one of our distributors who's come in and going to distribute the Great Lakes region, he uh, is uh, going to sell six, about six states, and then we have six other, uh, seven others, and um, we'll be. Uh, distributing it through distributors who then will uh, find uh, dealerships in their exclusive areas to be able to sell it that way. So 
Cool. Um, it's a real fun model. It's a model of a small, nimble company mm-hmm. where we can uh, uh, make changes quickly, uh, efficiently. Yeah, is that e- everybody's involved in, in, in the process. And as I told you, our product plan with the uh, is coming out with a, a four-seater. Um, ne- uh, next year, a four-wheel drive. A, we have one right now with no doors and no trunk, which is good for police or um, meter maids uh, here on campus and th- things like that. Yeah. And uh, we're going to have one that has a flatbed like a pickup truck. So. Oh, cool. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. All right. That switch is down here. Yeah. So this is for the extra boost. You go like this, and boom, you're going. Right. It gives you a little extra boost. Cool. So I think you'll be okay. Um, just spin around and uh, give it uh, your best. All just right. Have a good time. I will. Thank okay. you. Are you ready? Yep. And you can roll the windows up if it's warmer, because it does get cold if it's, once you get going. All right. Okay. Quiet. Very quiet. Yep. All right, and now uh-huh. we are off. You've got it? Uh, yeah, oh. uh, yeah, true, true, true. <laughs> Forgot to put it in the drive position. Hmm. And there we go. All right, and we've got the speedometer going right here. This is pretty cool. And now we turn on the turn signal, and... Really good visibility in the vehicle. Yes. Large uh, window frame here. Yeah. Let's see. No idea. Not many blind spots. Nope. Not at all. We're on a real road here. Yep. stoplight and on this one I'm gonna try that little button. Which one? Oh the little the one for the overdrive. Green light. Oh well it's gonna take a minute. There's the whoa that's pretty good miles an hour this is actually pretty fun Heard it first from Alex Scott. It's actually pretty fun. <laughs> and now we slow down. Take the turn. Oh, I should have turned on the heater. And now we'll use that accelerator boost, which is, that works really well, actually. This, those vehicles should now be one of these, these, uh, those, uh, pickups. They could easily turn the pickups into these. 9,000, yeah, and these are meant for, like, low speed. Which yep, is which is what they always run. This would be perfect for MSU. I mean, yeah, they can go everywhere, literally everywhere on campus on those and save so much money. Now, they probably drive more than 50 miles, that might be the issue. Well, they could recharge them easily. Oh, um, oh, went into the wrong space. Yeah. Well, that's a mistake that I have made. Oh. Back her up and... Uh... Yep. Okay. It is official ex guy drives like an old woman. <laughs> Yes, I do. Avoid the farmer's markets. I shall. Go up on the sidewalk. Yep. <laughs> uh. And there we are.